thanks throughout this newscast. We'll continue to show you traffic conditions in this winter storm. This is a live look here in Indianapolis. This is I-65 over Capitol right near the TV station. The snow is already falling in other areas, particularly in the northern counties. We've got Mary Mills live this afternoon in Tippecanoe County. So, Mary, what are the conditions in Lafayette? Snow, obviously. We are at Highway 38 and 52 on the south side of Lafayette in a parking lot. The snow here has been falling for several hours. Take a look. This car right here gives you an idea. I've got about an inch and a half or so, and it is a heavy, wet, dense snow. Great for snowballs. It's very slushy here, quite a mess, and uh, certainly a busy day for all the plow drivers. We saw several uh, state trucks out on the roads as we were headed this way. This is Chris Rowe with Fox Paving, and uh, you said the snow began, what, about 8 this morning? Yeah, and 7.30, 8 o'clock. Started off as a wintry mix, and then turned, turned to snow. It's been falling since. <clears throat> Road conditions getting worse. worse. As we drove yeah. in, you could tell, slushy. What's Plus, it like? It's slick out there. I mean, you definitely have to watch what you're doing. But uh, it's going to keep falling for the majority of the, the day through the night. And so. Tell, you know, looking at the snow and stuff, I mean, it's, it's going to freeze as well. Yeah. What kind of, uh, you know, challenges does that present to you guys and then just people out on the roads? Well, we'd be trying to push it off and try to get salt down before it starts to freeze, but definitely if temperatures start to fall, it's going to turn to ice pretty fast. So, The other thing I'm noticing is is the wind and when it blows, the yeah. snow, it's like icy, See, icy yeah. snow. Well, hopefully the snow's heavy enough that it's not going to blow too much and drift, but they'll still probably end up drifting some with the temperature falling. Now, you guys are going to be getting maybe, what, six or more inches? Six or plus here, is what right? they're saying, yes. Yeah, okay. So. Are, are you looking forward to that at all? I know I it's am. been a dry snow. I am, yeah. There haven't been much plowing this year, but not compared to the past couple. But, yeah, it's definitely nice to get out and actually be able to push some snow. Yeah. So. And your colleagues are out clearing the lot here, they so yeah. they'll be doing that all day probably yep. and through the night. One thing, can't ignore, just have to ask you quickly, Yeah. not really snow-related, but behind us, uh, we have got a pink truck. You've got the pink plow right we do. here. Yep, that's that's my truck. I get to plow with it. Um, it's for uh, uh, race for the cure. I take race it. for the cure. Yep. Okay. Breast cancer. All right, you stand you stand out here. Yes, I do. And and we know you've got a lot to do. We appreciate you uh, taking a few minutes to talk to us. Good luck today. Oh, thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thank you. All right. And again, as he said, uh, the snow here just starting. It is wet, it is slushy, it is messy, and it's also going to freeze, which will no doubt make matters far worse in Lafayette. And uh, we'll be here throughout the day providing updates. Back to you, Scott. All right, people in Tippecanoe County need to be careful as they're driving out there. Mary, thanks. Now, we've got crews checking out conditions all across central Indiana. This is a live look at some light snow that is beginning to fall in Howard County. This isn't far from Kokomo right now. We've been told about 96 drivers will be out on Indianapolis streets this afternoon to handle any icy patches, bridges, or overpasses. And a reminder that you can get real-time traffic conditions by downloading the WTHR app. That way you'll have it on your phone. We've got more weather coverage coming your way in just a couple of minutes.